Hey everyone, it's Claire from Second and Fan Club. If you are new here, please make sure you're subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And also find us on Facebook to join our community. So once you've got to grips with the sheer variety of succulents out there, and maybe your collection is expanding, you want to decorate your home and really show off those succulents, you're going to start thinking about the different pots you can put them in. Now, as we know, it's really important to have a free draining um, succulent soil that's going to let all that water drain out. So what is the point in having a container that you can't let the water drain out of? Okay, it's just going to be leading to rot. So what today's video is all about is, you know, once you've found those really cool pots, whether it's leftover things in your kitchen or you've been to the thrift store and you found some really awesome like old kitchen containers or mugs, as you can see right here, how are you going to turn them into a pot that is now safe for your succulents? So this is an ongoing argument. Some people are able to keep their succulents alive in pots that don't have holes in. Um, however, I do like to give them really liberal water and not have to worry about whether or not the roots are sitting in water. Um, some people put little pebbles in the bottom thinking that will just let the water sit in there and the roots will stay out of there. But roots don't really know the difference between soil and pebbles and the roots are still going to grow down into there. So the best thing that you can do is put holes into your pots. So you're going to need some safety equipment, safety goggles. Uh, you're going to need some cut proof gloves. OK, and you can either use a drill that plugs into the wall or a cordless drill, which I'm going to use today. Um, and I will talk about the settings on those a piece of wood to put under there. Then I use two different masonry drill bits. I use one that is a quarter of an inch, and once I've done that hole, I then move it up to a half inch uh, masonry drill bit. Before we begin, let's talk about diamond tip drill bits. So I see lots of people on the internet that have decided to invest good money in diamond tip drill bits. Um, and these are great, and they work really well on plain unglazed terracotta because they get a good bite into the terracotta. The problem with them is that if you have a glazed pot, so you've got a mug or maybe, you know, like a pasta bowl that you want to fill with succulents, the diamond tip drill bit doesn't grip into those. And what you'll need to do is actually use the guide that you can buy for them as well. Um, so these are very expensive. The guides are quite expensive. And also, you know, how do you get them to attach to a pot? It's very difficult. So I'm just using a masonry drill bit, a good quality one that works just as well. Um, and I don't have to spend the money on it. So I've put my pot onto the protective piece of wood underneath and I'm keeping the pot upright. And what I start off by doing is putting the drill on hammer to begin with and I've also got the slightly smaller drill bit to make almost like a pilot hole and then what I do is I go in bursts of about 10 seconds so I drill for 10 seconds not putting too much pressure on let the drill bit do the job and then once I've kind of made a little guide hole then I put it just onto normal drill and turn off hammer and then I keep drilling in 10 second bursts um, until I've made that first hole through so there's no need to add water to keep it cool, like with the diamond tip. You just go in your 10 second verse and then have a little rest. But remember that the drill bit's really hot. And then once you've broken through very carefully, so I pushed a bit too hard. I was putting too much pressure behind the drill. That's why the bottom popped out. It's still solid. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the half inch and just drill through again to make the hole bigger for better drainage. And my little Portuguese pots here are all drilled through now and I'm happy with the size of the hole. You can make the holes bigger uh, if you want more drainage, but also make sure that you don't do multiple holes because that won't work in terms of ceramic. You're going to crack your ceramic if you try and put multiple holes in. So widen the hole, but don't put any more than one in there. Fill them with fast draining soil. Check out my other recipe if you don't have it already um, and fill it with beautiful succulents. <laughs> 